Hey, it's Rick here, and today I'm gonna to show you Poetic's Slim Keybook for the iPad Air. This is coming in at about $54.95. And at this time, it's only available in this color. It comes in the packaging that you see right here, Slim Keybook for the iPad Air. And inside of it, you're gonna get the case, you're going to get a small instruction manual, talks about some of the features on the uh, keyboard itself and also about pairing. And then you're also going to get a, a USB to micro USB connector here so you can charge up the keyboard. It does come pre-charged. And I'm gonna do this review in a little bit different fashion. I've already put the iPad Air inside of this case. At the very end, I'll take it out and I'll pop the scale, or I'll pop the case on the scale so you know what we're talking about here. Here is the case up close, and I'll say that it's got a little bit of cushion to it along the sides and the edges. It's almost like a vinyl-like feel to it. There is some poetic branding there. I would have liked to have seen it be a little bit more rigid here, because depending on where you grab it, feels a little squishy at times. There is some poetic branding there. You've got a cutout here for your microphone. And as you undo this, and yeah, that's attached with magnets here, you'll have access to your camera. Taking a look down below, I've already got the keyboard in here and you can also see the iPad Air. Along this side, it's all enclosed and up along the top, this is what it's going to look like. I'll talk to this in a minute, but that's your keyboard power on off switch as well as a Bluetooth syncing button. Let's go ahead and open this up. And first thing I want to tell you is it's not going to use a sleep awake feature that you find on the iPad. So you will need to manually turn on and off your iPad. There's kind of a holder here, 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 and here. So your iPad will snap into place there and another holder right here. And the way that this works is you will undo this each and every time that you want to use the keyboard. There's a little bit of rigid feeling to it and uh, it's nothing too terrible but I need to get a better grip because I am at an angle doing this. I'm going to prop it up in its typing position which is just like this and then you can get started typing but before I do that let me lay this back down and show you that this keyboard is removable. There's some magnets here that help to keep it in place. It's kind of a smaller sized keyboard and I find that when I type on it it doesn't feel a hundred percent natural slightly cramped, but I do have a little bit larger hands, I would say. Everything you need access to on this keyboard, you've got it, including home buttons and shortcuts and things like that. And then you've got your power indicator. And then again, along the side here, your on off switch followed by a button to press when you need to sync with Bluetooth. And that's what the bottom looks like. So let's go ahead and turn this on and you'll see that the power indicator light comes on there. That's also where you're gonna charge it if you run out of battery and you need to. And I've already synced this, so it should automatically sync. And let me go ahead and turn this on and turn it this way just a little bit so you'll get a better view. And slide to unlock. And you should be able to see, yep, so my home button shortcut is working just fine. If I double tap it, it's very responsive. And just to give you an idea in so far as typing, if I can turn it around this way, I'll say, hello, how are you? And right up there in the corner. So it's responsive. I don't have any delays whatsoever. You can kind of see as I'm just typing a bunch of nothing here that it is very responsive. I don't really run into latency. When I was testing this, I didn't find any mistypes. And if there were, it was because of my own accord, not because of the keyboard. Like I say, it does feel a little bit cramped here for me. Uh, but other than that, you know, your mileage will vary based upon your hand size. For $54.95, it's not a bad way to go. I would have liked to have seen a few things improved upon it. Like I say, it's not gonna engage the sleep awake, so you do need to make sure that you power this down. You probably are gonna wanna power down the keyboard after each use just to make sure that you preserve battery as best as you can. Uh, let me go ahead and undo this so I can talk a little bit about the weight of the case. And these just unsnap on the corners, and this is gonna come right out. And then I will close this up and we'll pop it on the scale with the keyboard. Now, I suppose if you wanted to, you could use this case without the keyboard. I wouldn't necessarily advise it. We're at zero grams here, popping this on 500 grams. So it is gonna add some weight to your iPad Air. It's definitely an optional way to go if you're looking for a keyboard case and it's by Poetic, it is available now. It is called the Slim Keybook. And this guy is going to get my three and a half out of five. If you guys have questions, comments, or feedback, as always, please feel free to let me know. Hit me up on Twitter at Metagamers, and I'll catch you next time. Take care, everybody, and have fun.